Some time ago, I was able to watch The Forge, and just today I watched The Deliverance. I did not post about it and tell you guys to go watch The Forge because I like to be authentic about whatever I am posting. And because I had friends that were connected to the promoting and the marketing of this movie, and I had a whole lot of different colleagues, and I say that with air quotes, but it was gospel artists that were in the same room and some of Atlanta's biggest mega church pastors, and we watched The Forge. I did not finish The Forge because I left. I just wasn't in the mood on that day to sit with or dance with what I am not aligned with. I have the capacity, but that day I just wasn't in the mood. And when I got there and began to watch the movie The Forge, for the decolonized and the deconstructing mind, it's just a lot to ignore. Being that the Kendrick brothers, who have brought some great inspirational movies, and don't get me wrong, The Forge is a great inspirational movie. It just wasn't to me. And it's because my mind has been decolonized. Let me say is being decolonized and my mind is deconstructing. So I'm separated from a lot of the things that education and knowledge and experience have taught me deep truths that, in my opinion, in Western Christianity, which is European and whitewashed, I believe purposefully hid from me. And I felt like somebody was playing in my face. (laughs) That's the best way for me to put it. I said, now, you just showed me who wrote this. The Kendrick Brothers, hats off to you guys and the work that you do. And then you show me a movie with all these black faces and black bodies, and it's like a black story, but it's whitewashed, and the pen of a white man is leading the storytelling. For me, that is the problem with black Christians in America, is that Our Christianity is so white that for some of us, it has totally captured our whole black soul. And we have black bodies, but white souls. And so it irritated me and it kept irritating me. And then there were just some things I wouldn't have written into a 2024 release where you have these groups of grown men with these young boys. And for me, That was a little weird, and two or three of the gospel artists were texting me while I was in there saying, "Mm, in this climate, this ain't a good look. It was just a few different things that just didn't work for me. The main thing being that this white pen was telling what seemed to be a black spiritual story using our black bodies to promote prayer, inspirational to many, because a lot of people need to get back to prayer. So for that, I can't say throw away the movie, but I can say that something needs to be paid attention to that I think we ignore when it comes to these Kendrick Brother movies as black people. Why are black people being used to tell the story of prayer, but by a white pen? I couldn't ignore it. So I I walked out. Because, you know, it wasn't a bad move. I just couldn't get with it. I wasn't in the mood. I just was not in that mood to, to sit with that. I had had enough of whiteness that day and the system and racism that is a system in this country. I was I was done. I could have watched it the next day from beginning to end. I may watch it when it hit the TV. I might, but it was I just could not. However, I think it's going to be a great great watch for many others and will inspire them. And I saw uh, 
all of them acting sisters are beautiful in the face and body. But the redhead, Tina, she really was moved by that movie and she felt like God was calling her back to prayer. See, that's great. So that's why I didn't want to post the movie and say what I'm saying now when they was doing the rollout because I didn't want to negatively affect it because I believe it's going to inspire some people. It just did not inspire me. So I declare and I decree that black prophets will begin to write movies and plays for our consumption, for the betterment of all mankind. And it is happening through the likes of Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey, and Lee Daniels, and others. Let me be like you.